Hello, hello, lovely Scorpios. It's your girl, Psychic Christy, here to do your September general readings. Yay! All right, so we're going to do friendly reminders real quick. That tarot is for guidance and entertainment purposes only. Therefore, not responsible for what you do after your reading. However, I'm here for you. If you're interested in a personal reading, click that description box down below. Um, also, if you haven't done so yet, hit that little subscribe button for me, okay? So we're going to see what we have going on in the beginning of the month how you're feeling about it, uh, the second half of the month, and what to expect leaving the month, okay? All right. Scorpios, what is this? I don't really like starting with that. We got to see what's going on. Because this is like... Someone sleeping with someone on a DL, but it's like not, it's a little shady, okay? So whether this is you or whether this happened to you or happening, it's not a great energy to have. Right. For some of you, this already happened because you're in the healing process, but it was shocking. Of course it was shocking. Look at that. It's like whoop, someone was being shady here and it left you feeling like I just can't do this anymore. It's like I got to run for the hills. I got to find my peace. But then you have the soulmate card here. So I got to see if like, is this person what you considered a soulmate or no? For some of you, you're like, but this person's my soulmate. I can't leave. Others of you ran for the hills. You said you did what? I'm out. And it's kind of like, even if someone new were to come in and they were to be amazing, you wouldn't even be looking that way because you're stuck on this person who didn't treat you good being a soulmate because there's a label on them. Either you or someone else smacked the label on there. Soulmate. Now you can't get your head to wrap around that this person wasn't doing the best for you and there's more out there for you there's better out there but you need to love yourself in order for that to happen because right now things are not going well and you're still in the process of learning new information. And it does not feel good in the beginning of the month. It does not. Let's keep going. Yeah, some of you are literally are just torn between not wanting to be single, even though it looks pretty good, it's because you're still stuck on the, the vision of marriage. But I wish you guys can see that. It's like this was very sexually driven, right? A lot of stuff going on here, even in between. So it's like, what are you holding on to at this point? It's like, maybe you can have the marriage thing, but look how much you have to go through first. It's funny because I'm actually hearing a crow right now. I don't know if you guys can hear it on the camera. So, I mean, it doesn't feel good, but I guess how are we feeling about this whole situation? What's their perspective? Yeah. Some of you are out. I'm telling you. 
I'm reading for two different groups of people, so I'm sorry if it's confusing you. Um, a good portion of you, you are out. It is devastating, and you are at a loss, and you're packing your shit, and you're going. And that's exactly what turns things in your favor. Ooh, look at you. Getting everything that you want after. Why? Because whoever is the one that walked away is the one that has the self-love who's able to get everything that we talked about in the beginning of the reading. Things turn in your favor and you get that stability, that family-like foundation, long-term commitment. And good sex. And happiness. What about the ones that decided to stay? It's a lot. They're putting in a lot of work. And things are in delay right now for them. They're just trying to be patient. Trying to make things happen. But eventually it's only a matter of time. Walking away. Because everything's going to eventually come into full circle regardless. This is not about the partner. This is not about the other person. This is about you. I just want to point that out. I'm not here to bash the other person because every situation is different, whatever. I'm here to say that when you start value, putting value to yourself, the only thing that gets reciprocated is value. Okay? And I feel like it's important to even discuss that, to even mention that for whoever is watching this video. If you want to be up here, you know, if you're up here, should I say, then that's what you're going to attract. But you can't be down here not trusting yourself, not believing yourself, not valuing yourself and expecting for you to still get this up here. It's not ever going to match or cross, right? Because the stuff you're wishing for is being attached currently, whoever did not walk away, is currently being attached to manipulation and toxicity and whatever, whatever. 